such a one-sided relationship. Okay, let's get on with today's video. Hi guys, so today I am going to be doing a sleek makeup haul. Plus I've got some other bits in there as well, but the majority of it is sleek. So first of all, I'm going to start with, um, let's start with this. This is Cougar Cosmetics. I've never heard of this before, but I was looking for some fiber like lash extensions and I was Googling them up and they were pretty expensive. So I was trying to find like a cheaper alternative and I went on Groupon and I found this. So this is the Magic Fiber Lash Extender Kit. I have used it today. So if you want to have a look at my eyelashes, it basically comes with these two containers and it's got Cougar Magic Lash Mascara and this says Cougar Magic Fiber Extender. So obviously the mascara is really thin, it's black, but it's really really thin, like there's barely any product on the brush. And then when you look at the extender, it's like this really thin, fibery sort of looking brush like you can pick the fibers off it's kind of like a what's the word like an eyebrow spoolie type of brush with these black fibers on it so basically you just put a layer of the mascara now i don't think you have to use their mascara because i have i'm going to try and use a different one and see if it will still stick to it but i did this like a thin type mascara so you put one layer of this and then you put a layer of the fiber straight off it was four pounds something so it wasn't really expensive whatsoever but the only place i could seem to find this was on group it's got a bit of instructions and tips and whatnot at the back as well so that was one of the things that i got recently I also got what's on my lips and this is the Bijou Velvet Lips uh, the Rouge Edition Velvet now ignore it it's sticky because I tried to pull off the sticker so you could see the label properly but basically this is what it looks like just a cute little part with this beautiful red lip um, it's a matte finish lip I have also put on a bit of my Sephora on top of it just so it's not too drying and this color is I have no clue this color is N35 and this is just what it looks like so basically I use the two together today and as you can see I'm running out which is really depressing because there's no Sephora in the UK but anyway back to this so this is it it's uh, it comes with a really cute little brush really easy to use I don't think you need to use a liner or anything with it and the color that I got was 08 and that is Grand Coup I think I'm probably saying something very rude right now but that is what I got so that was a little lip gloss or well, matte finish lip gloss that I got as well now let's get into the sleek stuff now obviously you saw the um, you saw a couple of bits that I was using for my everyday for um, autumn fall makeup in my last video um, I also got another reset in the cream to powder foundation I bought two of them I like to buy everything in bulk and the other stuff that I got was again another powder these are like my all-time favorites so I usually buy them in twos I also got a, another Be Beautiful Blemish Balm so it just comes in this nice little box and I use this as well with the foundation as you saw in my makeup routine I mix this and the Reset foundation together to achieve my perfect my perfect what's the word that I'm looking for my perfect tone that's it and then I use the mocha under the arms and arms <laughs> I use mocha under the eyes and stuff like as a highlighter now I've also got some couple of new bits here as well and I haven't even opened them yet so this will be sort of like a first impression as well um, because I was using like another foundation as a highlighter I decided to invest in this highlighting concealer I've never used this before it's by Sleek and it is the Illumiere 
Lumia Highlighting Concealer, as I said, and it's in the color M05. So I'm not quite sure if this matched because it was kind of on sale. So I just call, I just kind of bought everything like on a whim when I was buying the regular stuff that I buy. So it's got like this sort of soft, oh, it's quite soft bristle, bristle on the end, and then I think you turn it, turn it. Which way do you turn it? I'm turning it. Oh, you don't turn, you press. So you sort of press in now. Oh, first impressions. I don't think anything is coming out. What am I doing wrong here, people? Now, if you saw in my last video, I always use Collection 200's felt tip liner, but I decided to try the sleek one, and this is called Flick It, Flick it Liquid Eyeliner Pen. That's a bit of a tongue twister, and it's in blazing black. Now, I hope it's like my other one, and it's sort of that felt tip. Again, I love how sleek everything is sort of like that matte black, and then you've got a bit of that pattern bit on the bottom like you'll see the writing is a bit shiny and everything I just love Sleek's packaging and it is a perfect felt tip I really like these type of eyeliners again it's how what is what I'm used to and it comes out really good if you can see that there that is perfect there is going to be no worries about this eyeliner I use like a spoolie and sort of like these wax type pencils again all from Sleek on my eyebrows but I wanted to use this brow perfecter and it's in the color dark brown oh and this one's sealed the rest of them weren't sealed like this one should that be a concern probably explains why the first one didn't work I don't know I'm gonna get back to that and it's sort of like a liquid type mascara again beautiful matte black packaging with the writing in that sort of patent um, what's the word I'm looking for? And it's just, oh, it's quite a light brown actually for it to be a dark brown. Again, it's like a little spoolie brush, and it's exactly like you would have a um, mascara, except for this is just for your brows. And the brown is quite, and this was the darkest color that you could get, but I don't know if you can see on my hand right under, right above the eyeliner. The brown is quite brown. I don't know how well that would blend into my eyebrows but I have to give it a try and I'll let you guys know another thing I got was another lipstick I love my smother lipstick um, I wanted to try this colour it's called it's, again it's the True Colour Lipstick by Sleek and it's in the colour Liqueur and again it's a sheen and it contains vitamin E so let's oh again this one was really sealed and the rest weren't so that's that's really strange at the rest and it's sort of this light pink now you're thinking how because light pinks don't suit a lot of skin tones but I'm gonna make this work with the other product that I'm going, about to show you it's this beautiful sort of light nudish pink color and it's got like something on it I think it's sort of like an oil or something that they spray on it but yeah it's a really pretty color let's just do a little swab of that it's kind of frosty which I'm a bit worried about because again frosty sort of lipstick on brown on brown skin looks ashy if you can see it there under the eyeliner but it's a really nice soft pink but I thought I would make it work with this next product again it is not open at all perfectly sealed which again concerns me about the um, concealer because it was not concealed. Sleek. Are you sending me used products? We're back. So you got that camera cut. Where was I? Yes, this was the pencil venom. I've put it around the lipstick if you can see there. It's sort of like a purplish pink and I think it would go nicely with the lipstick. If you want to see it in comparison to the other lip liner that I have from Sleek, which is Lingerie. Lingerie is sort of more of a dusky pink and Venom is more of like a purpley pink. I think if you could see there on the two ends of it, this is the obviously the new one, Venom, and this is 
the one that I'm used to buying which is lingerie and then if you want to see a swatch comparison of them the one that I normally use which is lingerie is the one on its own on the bottom and venom is the one around the lipstick so those are my new products there i'm really disappointed in this highlighter oh here it is okay so it took a moment to come but it has finally decided to join us oh and i've also noticed that the brow stuff which is really light brown has darkened quite a bit on the hand but now this highlighter Oh, it's very light and obviously I kept on pushing and turning and pushing and turning so loads of it is coming out now. Let's just rub it in and see how well it blends. Actually, I think that highlighter, which is obviously the big splodge on the end of my hand there, is, um, I think it will work quite, quite, quite well with my skin tone. Obviously, I'll have to really blend it in because it is a, quite a few shades lighter than I am. But now that it's actually finally come out, I'm quite happy about that because I was I thought that they sent me a bad product. So that was all the products that I got from Sleek. Obviously, some of my all-time favorites, and then some of these new guys, which I'm going to test out in videos to come and let you know what I think about them. It is my birthday next Friday, so all my all my uh, videos next week are obviously going to be centered around my birthday, and there may be a bonus video instead of just my Wednesday and Sunday videos. There may be a vlog that will be up on either the day of the Friday or the Saturday but you have to be subscribed to know when that video goes up so if you're not subscribed it's best to do it now because it's mine there as well so thank you guys for watching today's video um, I hope you had a great weekend I'm going to try my new products and see how they go and I'll let you know how they work thanks for watching bye